All right guys, so to start out, as always, I'm going to prime and prep the lid, and I am using my current obsession right now, which is Max Paint Pot in Laying Low. Then going right into the eyeshadow look, I'm actually going to start out with my transition color, and I'm taking a fluffy brush and applying Max Eyeshadow and Saddle to the crease just to start a warm base for the eye. Once I had that applied and blended out, I'm going to go back in with Swiss Chocolate, also by MAC. This is going to help to create a little bit more of depth and definition to the eye. I wanted to add just a little bit more definition without going too dark so instead of using a black shadow I'm actually going to go in with Coastal Senses eyeshadow in Chocolate Berry which is a pretty gorgeous maroon kind of black and purple color with some beautiful copper sparkles. Once I have that all nice and blended, I'm going to go ahead and lightly highlight the brow bone using Max Eyeshadow in Bamboo. Since we want to keep the eyes pretty soft and neutral, I'm going to apply a muted kind of taupe shade. It's very soft with a slight sheen to it and this is Coastal Senses Eyeshadow in Camel Taupe. Then after that, I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight the inner corners of Feliza's eyes with another Coastal Scents eyeshadow. That one's called Coco Diamond, but I actually deleted the footage, so I'm not showing that in the tutorial. Once I have all the eyeshadows laid down, I'm actually going to go in with NARS's eye paint in Snake Eyes. And I'm smudging that along the lower lash line as well as in the waterline. And then once I pop some false lashes on, I'm going to smudge that color on top of the lash line of those false lashes to give a nice hazy kind of smoky effect. But I didn't want to do black, so this is the perfect color, plus it adds a nice pop of depth and color for fall. It's just the most beautiful, very deep kind of hunter green color. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. The eyes were super simple. Next we're going to move on to the face. And I'm using Tarte's Clean Slate Flawless Primer to act as Feliza's primer as well as moisturizer since she has pretty dry skin. For foundation, I'm using a mixture of MAC's Studio Fix Fluid in NC45 and MAC's Face and Body Foundation in C7. I'm mixing that together to create more of a kind of hydrating full coverage foundation since Feliza again has dry skin and I'm just going to pop that all over. I'm doing one light layer because Feliza already has pretty decent skin so she doesn't need too much coverage and as always less is usually more. Next I'm going to go into contouring and I'm actually going to use a cream concealer to contour. I normally do my highlight first but I wanted to try something different and I actually like the way um, it came out. So I'm going in with LA Girls Pro Concealer in Espresso and I'm using that as Feliza's bronzer and contour. Once I have that on, I'm going to go back in with another LA Girl Pro Concealer 
and this one is in warm honey and I'm going to use this color to highlight all the areas of Liza's face that I want to bring forward. So as usual that's underneath the eye, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, and the center of the chin. I'm gonna go back in with one of my favorite setting powders. It's the Graftobian HD Luxe Cashmere Powder in Banana Cream Pie. 10,000 times better than Ben Nye's Banana Powder. And I'm gonna set that highlight. Everywhere that we highlighted, I'm gonna be setting it. Then I'm going in off camera with another Graftobian setting powder and it's the Pro Powder in Skin Tone Dark. And that's what I'm gonna be using to set the contour. Once everything has had time to cook, so to speak, I'm going to take a brush and just wipe all of the excess powder away. Then I'm going in with an angled brush and applying a bit of blush to Feliza's cheeks. I want to give her a nice pinch of color, but not too much, so I'm using Coastal Senses Forever Blush in Graceful. To add a little bit more of a highlight to the face, I am going in with another blush by Coastal Scents. This one is in Dashing. It's a beautiful kind of rose gold tone. It looked absolutely amazing on Feliza, but didn't give me the amount of glow that I wanted. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of Elf's Facial Whip in Toasted. To finish off this look, of course, we're going to end it off with a bold, beautiful, metallic berry lip. I wanted something nice and bright and bold, yet dark, vampy, and wearable. So I'm going to start out with Max Lip Liner in Current. I'm just lining Feliza's lips and filling them in slightly with the lip pencil. Once I have that onto my desired effect, I'm going over top of everything with OCC's Lip Tar in Black Metal Dahlia. And as you can see, it is the most beautiful metallic maroon, just, just so gorgeous. You definitely want to go ahead and check out this color for yourself because it is absolutely stunning on all skin tones. And I mean all skin tones. And this is the final look. It's a great transitioning look if you want to wear something now that's still fall inspired without being too dark and vampy. The eyes are really nice and soft. The lip is nice and bold and everything kind of just blends together. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. The list of products will be underneath the info box underneath this video. And you will also find the list on my blog as well as more pictures of Feliza's final look if you're interested. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!